Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Classy Coco, and we are with another episode of Let's Be Real, the podcast. I've really been doing party promoters since, what, 14, 15? And uh, the older we get, everybody goes to the same parties, everybody goes to the same doors, so she's doing the same shit. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Classic Coco, and we are with another episode of Let's Be Real, the podcast. And I have some special guests in a building. Y'all ready to know who we got today? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I need it. I get it. Okay, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, so we got C more in a building. Gary, you want to start off introduce yourself? We can start off with the COO. The COO, let's go. All right, my name is Trail COO. I'm from High Point, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. My name is Christian. I'm a chief of Wine and Spirits from High Point, North Carolina. My name is who? Maurice from High Point, North Carolina, brand ambassador. And I'm uh, Gary Nelson, the business liaison manager from High Point. Hey, hey, so we got a lot of 336 in the building. Sure. You know, but it's big 704 <laughs> Southside XFO over yeah. here. You already know what vibe is. Hey, so let's just hop right into it. So, Seymour, y'all peep all y'all's vibe. Y'all doing real big shit. So, what is the origins of the group? Because I want to know just how y'all started everything and just came together. Um. Well, really, uh, where we get the name or where did like the actual where we got our name or where we actually name, started the brand name what was the idea the inspiration behind everything oh um well it's a lot actually so the name Seymour um me Gary and uh Scooby we went to uh, job corp and you know you got to meet an admissions counselor and um when we met him at the time we were a little younger so he threw out the quote um black men y'all got to see more to be more and uh mm-hmm. it kind of went over my head at that time because I was young a little ignorant so Kind of went over my head, but as I got out into the world, I started realizing you got to get out of that comfort zone and, you know, mm-hmm. to be more in life, you got to go out there and see more. So that's kind of where that came. But as far as the actual brand, um, we had been doing events, man. Scoob had been doing events in college, you know, kind of started there, but it was just fun. Yeah. And, you know, talked to Gary, put the numbers, put the mind behind it, and uh, we took off. It was over. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah so we've been doing, like he said, we've been doing – events for a while i think the first one was the well we really been doing party promoters since what 14 15 yeah. in uh high point but uh as far as like winston we went to winston we did a couple of events we did the uh pop-up shop mm-hmm. we did the cookout yep. and then uh bro did the lupus walk so everything really being here the whole time we just kind of started to put the llc put the entity on it and then we just came to charlotte which is the best place to do something like this and we here now. Yeah, for real, for real. So do y'all feel like y'all kind of started at Winston and then just like when you graduated, it just kind of blew up? Or do you feel like? It took it a kinda, while. Okay. It, yeah, it took a while. We, uh, I actually graduated December 20, 20. Damn, 2020. Mm-hmm. And uh, I actually stay in Nashville, Tennessee. So mm-hmm. it took a while. We, we've been out of college for what, two, three years now. We just yep. now getting the entity started. So it took two two years, and uh, it was just a conversation with us. Like we was just like, okay, what well, what what can we do that we already doing anyway? Yeah. The guys they they could tell you like their pool parties being going crazy, their uh, events being going crazy. It just wasn't no business behind it. So mm. of course me, business minded, I'm like, man, let's just go ahead and turn this into a business and see what we can do. Right. I remember that conversation like it was yesterday. I remember that conversation like it was yesterday. Gary made that phone call. I was like, "Well, y'all did a pool party. In, y'all did a pool party in three hours. Why are we not putting no? We got a. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Let's keep it went crazy too. Let's, For real. Let's put some business behind this. I was like, "Well, shoot, let's do it. Let's 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 get it together. For sure. Yeah, that's dope. Like, so, how was the first event? I want to know, like, what kind of from what sparked from there? Like Lunch. unofficial or or official? Official. Okay. The launch. Oh, well, uh, really, it was really just to introduce us, you know. It mm-hmm. was really like a a real vibe so people can come in there and get some drinks, shake some hands. You can dance, do your thing. But it was really to parlay and get to know each other. People mm-hmm. get to know us, know our mind behind the the people behind the brand. So it was just like, you know, that's building that, you know, relationship with the people that spend money to come enjoy the time that we do, you know. Yeah. So it was just really just building with them and getting to know the people in the crowd and, 
showing face, shaking hands, and making friends. And mm-hmm. once that was done, you know, people got the whole crowd engaged, see more to be more, and they, the quote kind of sticks. So mm-hmm. it's really universal for real. Mm-hmm. We was uh, at that event though. We was also able to uh, introduce our SMS subscription, mm-hmm. which is in the loop. Yep. Um, that's like one of the biggest. I'll say one of the biggest things that we do have in Seymour, we're able to communicate with our uh, audience directly to their phone. So we was able to introduce that as well. We was also able to just show everybody our professionalism whenever it comes to throwing events. That's one thing that everybody always say about all our events that were organized. So we were just able to introduce that. Yeah, I, I, and I also think that it kind of showed, like that, especially that first event, it showed mm-hmm. us exactly like, if we could really do this, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, like, like that first event showed us, like, nah, we really can show the world, like, nah, we really do this, like, right. And it made, and it really made people understand, like, nah, they really, they really up to something, you know right. what I'm saying? And then when, when, like, like he said, with the in the loop, it showed like no other really promoter in Charlotte really doing the SMS in the loop type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nobody doing that. So right. to see that, it kind of like opened people's eyes, like, oh nah, they really up to something you know what i'm saying it was dope Mm -hmm. it really was dope yeah i feel like because i do events too like i feel like the most important thing when you do events and you're you know network with people is communication communication because i was a communication major at Mm -hmm. winston so it's major like people like oh you tapped it with me you tuned in you keeping me up to date like that's definitely like and i think uh, another beauty in, in the loop is you can get everything there like so you can get all the updates to the events. And then whenever you think about the events that we're throwing, um, that's at different venues each time, you wanna make sure that communication is key because you gotta make sure everybody know where to park at. You gotta make Mm -hmm. sure everybody know where to, you know, just operate where, how how would it do whenever it's ticket sales. Right. Then on top of that, after the biggest thing in business is follow up. Mm -hmm. So we we kinda create our follow up in uh, in the loop by, Mm -hmm. You can leave reviews in there. You can also get all the content shot there, all the pictures, all the videos directly to your phone so that you can post it and then post us. So it's kind of like we building a rapport with our audience as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, Stay in touch with them. Right. Stay in their face. Your market audience and demographic is important. Mm-hmm. For sure. Definitely. For sure. Also, just to let y'all know, we don't just throw events. We do community service and everything. Oh, yeah, for sure. We do that too. Do people do people get that. Events, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the events just a little sprinkle, but yeah, for sure. yeah, it's doing it for the community. What has been like the most recent thing that you've done for the community? Uh, we did a Mother's Day brunch. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so we went down to the Salvation Army, um, and we passed out brunch in the city, mm-hmm. in, in our home, point, in yeah. our hometown, yeah. Yeah. Yes. in the city, yeah, in the city, in the city. So okay, and it was it one one it was special. Two, we was able to see what we can do with our bandwidth because we actually had that event. We had two events in one day, mm. so we was at the Salvation Army at what nine? Mm-hmm. All the way in High Point. All, All the way morning. in High Point. We we made sure everybody was straight. We made our connections. We fed uh, how many? Fifty, fifty people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kids too, fed, uh, including wow. kids. Fed them. Then we had to turn around and actually have the pool party, which was oh, the biggest okay. event that day. Mm-hmm. We also had another event, but no, nobody really talk made about it. That one. <laughs> I don't even want to speak about Nobody that. made it, but you know what I'm saying? We, we did that. And then, mm-hmm. like I said, uh, the, the, the beauty in the Salvation Army thing is, one, we was able to make connections. And then, two, I actually stayed in that Salvation Army when I was homeless. Mm-hmm. So I was able to go back, give back, and bring my brothers with me at the same time. And yes. it was beauty. Yeah. It was, it was love. It was love. I love it. So y'all are a very dope individual. So let's dive in to, the, to who y'all are in y'all individual positions. So who want to go first? I went first last time. Oh, he like, nah, I'm not. Uh, uh. Go ahead, Chris. School. Go ahead, brother. What we doing? What we doing? Um, what was the question again? Like your role and what My part role. do you play? Mm, brand ambassador. Uh, I guess you can say, and my boys can vouch for me. Um, back in the day, I guess I had like a face, and you know, like I was known around. I triad, so on social media, I was already known. Like I knew how to move about it at an early age. So mm-hmm. I guess that's really why I'm the brand ambassador because I know how to move on social media. I know how to do everything when it comes down to your likes, activity, engagement. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's why I had that role, you know, because I know I can handle that business. Right. Um, 
outside of that, you know, it's not no main person like Trey I can speak. No main person is over anyone. If we all work together, we all equal. So mm-hmm. we make sure that we all put in and do all we can for each other. So that's really my role, really. So for me, I'm the chief of wine and spirits. So like with my stuff, I've I've since I moved to Charlotte, I've been in Charlotte for about I say about eight years now. Since I moved to Charlotte, I've been I've been bartending. Okay. Um, I've always bartended. And just me being in that field and just knowing how bars work, knowing how um, clubs and stuff like that operate when it comes to liquor sales and stuff like that, that's always kind of been my thing. And that's always really been a passion for me, you know what I'm saying, because I've always liked talking to people behind the bar. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good way. I feel like it's a good way to network with people in a way. So, like, for me, I've always been over that scheme of, you know, having a cup in your hand, like, my brother has a mentor, we call him Doc, but Doc has a thing called the two-hand rule, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's dope because it makes sense. Like, that two-hand rule is a psychology behind it where you're going to communicate with people if they got a cup in their hand when you're in a, when you're in a bar scene, when you're yes. in a club, when you're in a, a lounge or, or a social gathering, you know what I'm saying? It could be the smallest thing to a cranberry juice, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But it's a psychology thing to, to be over, like, liquor and wine and stuff like that. So that's always been my role. I've been doing this for yeah, like I said, eight years, I'm still going. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's really dope. <clears throat> That's dope. That's dope. So uh, my role is the business liaison manager. So I, I really handle all the back end stuff. Uh, I handle like everything when it comes down to communicating with the audience from making sure the tickets is straight, making sure the money is straight, making sure everybody get paid. Just like, you know what I'm saying, the communication with you, I kind of handle that with all businesses. Right, so right. I like I like to look at myself as Slim. Like when you look at Birdman and Slim and Cash Money, mm-hmm. you don't even know Slim. You probably never you probably only seen him like two, three times, but right. he handling all the business on the back end. So that's kinda how I treat my role. I make sure that everything is situated. I'm making sure that all the payments going through, if we need this, if we need that, who we need to talk to, um, venue set up, uh Shit, really a lot for real, mm-hmm. but it's good to have a team too because, like I said, I stay in Tennessee doing this. Right. So I'm not even able to 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 go meet the venues and and go meet the people who we need to meet. That's why I got my brothers in. We also got our secret weapon that we want to bring up here to, to talk. His name Jared going going virals uh, marketing, and I just want him to come and kind of tell what his role is because hey. he really handle yeah, sure. he really makes sure everything sure. really sure. crispy for real. What's good? What's good, everybody? What's good? Hey, what's your, so what's your question? What's your question? Let them know who you are, what you okay. do, because marketing. I was a marketing minor in Munson, so I already know marketing is the root of all things. That is what Miss Giller used to always say. So, mm-hmm. what is your your role with the marketing? What's good, everybody? Uh, my name is Jared <laughs> Goins. I am the CEO of Goins Viral Marketing. LLC and I'm here to really push the brand identity and really go out and network with people and just really show what professional marketing look like. Right. Um, you know, with my experience, I actually studied healthcare management in college, but a lot of my extracurricular activities really was around marketing. So I was the president of CLMC, I was mm-hmm. SCA, CM class president, and all in all those roles, marketing was important and communicating with students, customers, businesses. So it translated into this role now. So I'm I'm just grateful to be a part of the team. Yes. I remember when I was actually throwing my annual Friendsgiving, Gary came up to me. <laughs> Gary came up to me. He was like, "Bro, you brought all these people out and everything is smooth. Everybody enjoying themselves. Bro, you need to be doing this often." Yes. And so I kind of, you know, I kind of took that and ran with it. Yes, that's dope. That's dope. I'm like, you, you saw a gym and you was like, yeah, we need that. We need that. We always call Jared Mr. One Take because he really, <laughs> his first flyer is, is, is what we want every yeah. single time. Like, it's never a time where we got to go back and revise. If we are revising, we revising times mm-hmm. or we revising. It's never the thing. It's mm-hmm. never the thing, but – Jared, we've been working together, and he my LB too. We've been working together for a while now, like just off the grid, just just doing stuff on the back end. He always was was that person that kind of gave me that that other look because 
I always say we from High Point. Mm. We 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 kind of like grew up in a whole nother environment. You know what I'm mm. saying? So J- with with Jerry, he's bringing a whole nother outlook that nobody even we we definitely didn't think of because, like I said, we from High Point. We we don't really do the business part, but but he he keep us on our toes. He makes sure we 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 understanding the things that we don't even think about. Yeah, that's why I, we call him our secret weapon because he always making sure that we stay crispy as hell. Right. So yeah, yeah greatly appreciate it. Yes. Hey, appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, like so a little bit more about me. I'm from Durham. Mm-hmm. So I actually knew I was going to Winston as soon as I visited the campus. Mm-hmm. So I fell in love with Winston. <laughs> hey, I got to accept a lot of places. A lot of people looked at me sideways because they was like, bro, you going to Winston? I was like, I fell in love with the campus. Yeah. I fell in love with the sure. vibe. It was a family feel. And everybody here from Winston, so everybody yeah. know yeah, they sure. can concur how I feel. Mm-hmm. But, right. sure. you know, I really took my talents from high school and – wanted to take over campus. So I was mm-hmm. already trying to get involved with SGA, just doing small things, free work for years. I've been doing a lot of free work. Mm-hmm. And so when it came to really establishing myself and creating a brand for myself, I wanted to make sure I went about that professionally. And I already had customers already waiting. It was like, you should have been got into business. I was like, what? Like, oh, I'm, you know, I don't want to charge nobody right now. I got to just, you know, enhance my skills for real. And, Winston really made sure that I had everything I needed to be professional and make sure that I went about business professionally. So I really appreciate this opportunity as well because, you know, let somebody, you know, tell you that you're worth something and we see more in you, that really takes a lot to right. accept at first. Because you're mm-hmm. like, no, nah, you know, I, I'd rather, you know, I don't want to take all this all at once, yeah. but after I balance it all out and make sure that I communicate, you know, make sure that everything was together on my end with my business, I knew I could be a part of this team too. Yeah. Right, right. So, so, we glad to have you. Yes, you, bro. yes, yes. So, and I can truly say the one thing that I like about my team, with my brothers for real, is accountability. We've always held each other accountable. Mm-hmm. It don't matter, it don't matter what, it is what situation we got going on. We all professionalize in one thing in, in, in our specific field. So if if it's something that we don't know or something that we need help with just to make sure that we got everything together and make sure that the event or anything that we plan is together, we always hold each other accountable. And right. that's the one thing I can truly say that I've always rocked with about my group, you know what I'm saying, my team, like, as, as Gary said, I don't know if we can cuss on this zone or not. Oh, it's let's be real. You can say okay. shit, fuck all that okay, shit. Okay, well, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a saying that we all got, and this can't be fucked with. Like, right. We cannot be fucked with when it comes to a team. Because a lot of motherfuckers out here just have a team, start something, start something big, and then they break up. Okay. Nah, we cannot be fucked with when it comes to this team shit, for sure. Right, right. I agree. Yeah. CEO, what's oh, up? What's, what's up? What's happening? All right, so uh, my name Trail again. Uh, COO, Seymour Entertainment Group. Um, really, what I do is really <clears throat> like school. Pick it back off of what Scoop said. I don't. I told my boys from day one. Don't let the titles get anything confused. It's somebody bigger or higher than anyone else. We all, all right. the team. We all make the whole thing work. So, right. but that's the COO. Um, I really just really oversee everything. Um, like Chris said, accountability. My boys know something off. I'm gonna say something every every single time. Mm-hmm. I don't care if we bump heads. It's love. It's business. But right. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure we right. So um, really overseeing everything. Um, my, I think my specialty with this is uh, grabbing the people. Um, I do that well. I'm I'm real good with people. Um, making relationships, building bridges with people, and mm-hmm. um, getting getting them to be more involved with us and understand us and um. That's really, really what I do. Um, I help Gary with the business on the back end. I'm making sure um, Chris is okay with the numbers, with the wine. I'm making sure school got the, the page running right. I'm touching bases with Jared on how we can do these flyers or what what ideas should we do as far as marketing. So it's really overseeing and touching a little bit of everything. Um, but like I mentioned before, we it's a, it's, it's a team effort. I don't sure. let the title. For sure. And, 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 and really, everybody has chief at the beginning of their title. So yes. I didn't want anybody to feel like, they're below or they're less than. Nah, we all the same. So, right. yeah, just as the CEO, just really overseeing everything, building those bridges and bringing the people in, man, and shaking those hands and networking with people is really what I do. Get them people to see more. 
Yeah. Right. I made Seymour, the people see more. Yeah, for yeah, real, yeah, for yeah. real, for real. For sure. Well, listen, y'all dope. Like, in a whole group, everybody got to know they role, but y'all are one, and I can definitely see and feel that. So keep going. Yeah. Y'all already you know. know. Sure. Ram root for Rams hey. all day. For sure. All yeah. day. Real pride. For real. <laughs> so let's go into in the loop subscription. All right. So you already said it's more of the communication part. How does that make you special? Well, I just want to say or ask, how do you stick out from other groups? And I want to hear everybody's individual you know in the subscription or just Well, no, just as a group, because like, I wanna kind of touch on that for us before we go into the in the loop because that's different mm -hmm. from what anybody else is di doing but how do you differ yourself from other party promoting groups and everything or even events community server all that because we do it all yeah one, we do everything yeah we do it all it's genuine uh two i think the way we put it together like we said everybody is a professional or mm -hmm. is experienced in their own way like chris like he said he's been He's been bartending for a while, so why mm -hmm. wouldn't we put him? He's already here. Right. Mm -hmm. Trail, he's already been operating big events. He's already mm -hmm. been operating things on campus, things off campus. He's already been the relationship builder for I've been knowing them for what, like twelve years now. We've been in we've been together. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. That's, 14. That's, that's a long time. We've been that's together. Like we've been time. we've been homeboys for like fourteen years now. So we actually know each other. Like it's not just we mm -hmm. throwing something together. School, he been he been ho I'm skinny. Big <laughs> homie skinny. He yeah. been he been doing this for a while now. Like yeah. as far yeah. as social media, he like no matter what, if you go if you go in the triad area, somebody I say four out of ten people, five out of ten people, if you put somebody in a the group, they gonna know school because mm -hmm. He he been in that that social media joint for a while, and then as for me, I feel like I eat, sleep, and breathe business for real. Like this, all I do every mm -hmm. single day, I just make sure I'm, I'm learning something. I'm learning the trends. I'm making sure I'm building relationships. I'm making.